Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my second update for Roulette Pan Collab. This is the eighth round of the collaborative Project Pan Roulette that my friend Alexi and I started, yeah, forever ago. We're in our eighth round of this project. So we started it just over three years ago and it has been such a fun experience, not only between her and I, but this has now become a community-wide project pan that so many people are participating in, both here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram. There's also people on their own personal blogs or just doing it on their own and sharing down in the comments section or in the Discord server, which is the Panning Club. There are so many different ways to interact with this project and just to interact with this community in general. So if you're new to project panning, I definitely recommend that you either check out the hashtag over on Instagram, which is roulette pan collab, or you hop on into that Discord server so we can talk all about no buys and project panning and new makeup releases and all that fun stuff related to makeup. And of course, if you're familiar with this project pan already, you probably know my friend Alexi, but if for whatever reason she's kind of flown under your radar, I definitely recommend that you go and check her out. She is the co-creator of this project pan and she really is such a like warm and kind person and I really do think that you would love watching her and just getting to know her through her videos. She also is so incredibly talented when it comes to eye makeup and makeup in general. And it's always such a pleasure to catch up on her project pans in the, like, especially with this project, but just to see her face in my feed is such a treasure. So I definitely recommend that you go and check her out if you're not familiar already. And if you are familiar, after you watch this video, why don't you go check out her upload and then binge watch the rest of the playlist. But in any case, let's hop on into all of my progress for today's update. The first item that I selected or prompt that I selected was a product that is too pretty to use up. And so for that, I chose this Melt Stargazer highlighter. This is a digital dust highlighter and it's so stinking beautiful. And my goal is not to use it up in this project, but there is just this amazing embossing kind of pattern detail on top of it, which was just so eye-catching, especially because I love typography. And as much as this is a absolutely beautiful product, I did set myself a goal to wear down all of the like detail on it. And that reminds me actually that Eleanor Pans over on Instagram has started a project pan or will be starting a project pan in 2021 that is called Pan That Imprint. And it's kind of the same premise as what I did with this product actually. And that just sounds like such a fun project. I will have her link down in the description box too if you wanna check her out and get to know a little bit more about that project because that sounds like such a fun idea. I just don't know if I can take on a lot more projects, but I think it's amazing. In any case, I am working towards my goal of using up the imprint of this product. There still is a little bit, I'm sorry, my exposure is up very high, but there is still a little bit around the edges here. So I'm sure you can tell there still is some of that font on there. And so I don't consider this to be a goal hit yet. I'm not sure that it will be by my next update, but I have been wearing it fairly frequently today. I have it on just on the very top of my cheekbones as well as like down towards the tip of my nose. I know this is very polarizing. I Every time I wear highlighter on my nose, I get comments that are like, girl, it's a little bit much on the nose, but I kind of like it. But whatever, I'm getting very sidetracked through this entire video, but this is just such a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I've been really enjoying integrating it into looks, especially considering it is that more fair kind of tone. Let me swatch it actually. It's a very like icy champagne shade. So it just looks so dang good at this time of year when I don't have quite a lot of tan to my skin. It actually is just so icy and reflective and I absolutely love the way that it looks. I'll continue to use it through the remainder of this project and hopefully reach that goal as much as it pains me. I think I can do it. I do think I can do it. And I've been really enjoying reaching for this. And the next prompt was a favorite product, which could mean literally any product within your collection that you would consider a favorite. So for me, I chose my Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. This is such a beautiful, neutral, slightly brown, slightly rosy, slightly peachy kind of blush. I am so in love with it and it is my favorite blush in my collection, hands down. And I just swatched it here so you could see what I'm talking about. It is so um, nondescript in terms of its shade. It's very, very beautiful and yet I can't really exactly define 
what it is in terms of its tone, but I absolutely love this. I'm not wearing it today, weirdly enough. I typically am reaching for this on an almost every single day basis, but I didn't put it on today. I wasn't really feeling like wearing any sort of powders on the majority of my cheeks except for the highlight, but this is just such a stunning blush. My goal with this is to hit pan on it. I don't know if that's gonna happen in the next two months because my progress is very slow going with this, but I'm happy to be integrating it into my everyday routine whenever I do wear my makeup. More often than not, I'm reaching for this and absolutely loving it. It really does cement for me again that this is a favorite in my collection. My next prompt was a product that you forget is in your collection and for that I chose this e.l.f. HD powder in the shade Soft Luminance. This is so old and I really do tend to forget that this is in my collection. Even now when I'm focusing on it, I seem to forget about it constantly. Like even today, I was reaching for all of my products and I counted out five and I'm like, what is the other product that's in this project? And I'm looking into my vanity that contains like my everyday products, which is all my focus products as well as my shop, my stash products. And I'm looking in there and I'm like, what is the sixth product? And I couldn't quite figure it out. And then it like triggered in my mind that it's this. So I forget about this very, very frequently, even when it is a focus product, but I have been making some progress on it in any case. And I started up at this line here. Sorry, I should actually just get rid of this one, but this line right here, I started at for the beginning of this project. And now I'm down to this line right here, the bottom line. And you know what, not as great of progress as I may have hoped, but I just don't tend to set my entire face and that's how I prefer this simply because this does have quite a lot of shine to it. It is very, very glowy as the name would suggest. And I don't like the way that it looks on my under eyes. I need something that's a little bit more matte on my under eyes. I am wearing it today and I just, I don't love it because I didn't want to set the rest of my face, but I wanted to make sure that I used this after I realized I didn't even probably reach for it near enough throughout this project. But regardless, my goal is to finish this up. Now that I'm in this like bottom portion of the product, I do believe that I should be able to finish it up, if not get super duper close. I just need to be more diligent and have a better memory about the fact that I'm focusing on this. But the amount of progress that I've made in the last two months is so significant considering I've had this in my collection for years and it was going very, very neglected. I'm so sorry, the lighting is all over the place today because it's very, very sunny as you can probably tell, but then it's super overcast and cloudy and it's just been extremely inconsistent. So I just adjusted the exposure and I hope that it looks a little bit better than it did in my last clip. But Oh, sorry, I don't know. I'm just in such a chatty mood today, I guess. So the next product is a product that you don't think suits you. And for that, I chose this um, ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is like a very, very light pinky beige, almost concealer lip sort of shade. And I don't think it suits me after two months of using it in this project consistently. And it's it is a really beautiful color. I've heard from so many people while I've been focusing on this that they love this shade. I just think it, on me personally, it just isn't my personal preference. And maybe if you're a bit fairer than myself, you might enjoy it more than I personally like it. I have been reaching it for it though throughout this project regardless. And today I am wearing it mixed in combination with my Bare Minerals, this one right here actually. This is the Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick in the shade Notorious. So I put the She Bad on first on my lips. It's very matte and very, very pale. So I felt like it just was like way too stark and it really does emphasize the lines on my lips as well because I don't have the nicest and most smooth lips in the world. But I put on the Radiant Lipstick from Bare Minerals on top of it to amp up the shine, give it a little bit more pigmentation and it just, I love the combo. I love the way it looks. I love wearing this in combination with other like nude for me lip products and lip glosses. I just don't love it on its own. And all that to say that I am still focusing on this and I actually haven't checked how much I've used in the last month. Let me just check that. Okay, I just checked and I have used up like 
one millimeter of product since my last update so not doing so hot on this product in any way my goal with this is to use up half of what was here when i first rolled it into this project so not all of the product that remains in here but a significant amount of product still needs to get used up you'll see here on the screen my markings for this product Unfortunately, I am falling a little bit behind with the amount of progress that I would have liked to have made by this time, but next month or during the next month, I definitely need to amp up my usage on this and make sure that I'm reaching for it more often. Also, I forgot to mention that I decided to wear this today as a cream blush, but I mixed it in combination with the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip in the shade Bear With Me, which is in my 20 Favorites in 2020 project pan. I just applied both lipsticks to the back of my hand, kind of melded them together and just dotted them on top of my complexion after I put on my base products. And I love this cream cheek product combo, which is actually both lipsticks. I really love the way that it looks because I was finding that the Physicians Formula one looked a little bit too deep for what I'm liking these days, especially considering I've lost all of my summer tan. But yeah, even with reaching for this as like a cream blush or a mixer lipstick, I didn't see as much progress as I would like to see. I have been really loving playing around with bold lips this month though, so it hasn't really been a priority to wear nude lip products. So. I definitely need to amp up my usage in the coming month, but I have been really, really enjoying integrating this into uh, looks, even though I don't think that this is a product that I necessarily love on its own. It has been really nice to ensure that I'm getting use out of it regardless. My next prompt was a glitter, liquid shadow, or pigment. So basically any eyeshadow product that wasn't in a pressed pan. And for that, I chose the Stila Magnificent Metals Shimmer and Glow Liquid Shadow in the shade Vivid Jade, which is this glorious, uh, absolutely stunning emerald shimmer kind of tone. It's like slightly smoky emerald. It is phenomenal. And my goal with this is to use it 20 times within this project. So 20 times over four months, I felt like that was not like terrible, but it definitely was going to be a challenge for me. And I've used it four times this month, bringing up my number of uses to nine uses. So I'm just a little bit under where I'd like to be by this point in the project pan. But I feel like nine uses in the past two months is very, very good for me. I don't know if I had even worn this once at all in 2020 leading up to this point and it is so beautiful. I'm so happy that I'm getting more use out of this and seeing some progress on this. Like there's actually some visibility happening inside of the tube now, which is just great because I really just love seeing my products getting used and seeing some major progress happening on this is great. Even considering that all I wanted was a usage goal, it just feels really good to see this getting used. So in the coming month, I definitely need to use it at least a minimum of six times to really keep myself on par with my goal with this product. And going into the holiday season, I don't see that being necessarily a problem, although like family dinners and stuff are not really going to be the same this year as they have been in years past. So who knows? But where I'm at with this right now, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like that goal is definitely attainable. And yeah, I'm really happy to be reaching for that. I, I love this shadow so much. Like, look at that. Ugh, look at the metallic. Look at that color. It's, it's great. I love it. And the final product that is in this project pan is this one right here. And I chose this for the category, your most expensive base product. This is by far my most expensive base product. And I actually got it in the Charlotte Tilbury Summer Glow uh, mystery box so I didn't pay necessarily full price for this on its own but anyways it is the most expensive like retail priced base product that I have and my goal with this was not going to be a certain amount of usage because it's relatively new I think I got it in July in that box so I wasn't like I want to finish it up in this project I didn't even want to mark on the packaging so I didn't want to be like I need to use up half of it but my goal was to use it 40 times and today I'm wearing it for the 41st time. Even though this has only been in this project for two months, I have been just making sure to use it basically every single day that I put on makeup and days where I didn't put on any other makeup. So I have mixed this in with moisturizers and with sunscreens just to kind of give myself a little bit of a glow, even on days when I didn't want to wear any other makeup, but I just wanted my skin to like reflect the light really nicely and just to feel like a little bit more pulled together, you know? 
And then on other days, I've been mixing this with hydrating primers and putting it on before I do other base products. I've also mixed this in with my tinted, tinted moisturizers and foundation products. So it has just been getting cocktailed with absolutely everything. And that's how I was able to use it so many times in only two months. When I was looking at the tallies before I sat down, I thought I was gonna be at like, you know, 20 uses this past month and just be just shy of what my goal was, but no. 23 uses in this past month, 18 uses last month, and we're now at 41 uses on that. So I will be rolling that out of this project, which brings me to the next segment of this video. I don't know why I'm such in such a weird mood, but we are gonna be rolling in one new product to fill the sixth spot in this project pan. So let's do that together. I have 86 categories left in my spreadsheet of 100 categories. I personally don't want to duplicate prompts. I want to have a chance to get through all of the categories in due time. So we are going to be choosing from number one to 86 so that I can choose a new product to roll into this project. So I have the pretty random app pulled up right now and I've put in categories one to 86. So let's roll one of the categories now. And the category that I selected is 50. So my spreadsheet numbers don't align with the spreadsheet numbers for the one that's linked down in the description box just because I've been eliminating items as I go through prompts. So what is number 50 in my spreadsheet? I have my laptop here, so I figured we'd just do this together. Oh, okay, the category is an item in a pastel shade. So, kind of out of season, but let me just go take a look through my collection and see what I wanna pull for that prompt. I have a couple ideas in my head, but I will be right back to share with you what I do select. I'm back after much deliberation and the product that I selected for the category and item in a pastel shade is this right here. This is from Note. This is the BB Natural Corrector in the shade Lip Corrector 02, I guess. It, this product I purchased not last year, but the year prior when I went to IMATS with my friend Tosh, too much Tosh here on YouTube. We went to IMATS in Toronto together and we both picked up some products from Note. This was the only one that I got and it's not really a brand that I hear about often, but anyways, it really reminded me of the Clarins Lip Perfectors in terms of its packaging and even its scent. It kind of has that like, kind of smells like mini eggs sort of fragrance and it has this doe foot applicator, very, very similar packaging. On the exterior, it looks kind of peachy, but the product inside is actually a pastel light peachy kind of pink shade and I forget I have this in my collection very very often and I've actually been considering putting this into the Partners in Cream project pan next year which I'm going to participate in come January but I figured why not get a head start on working on it right now and potentially even be able to use it up because I'm actually down at about this point right here actually I should just mark it I'm about halfway through the tube and I don't think that I'll be able to finish it up in the coming two months, but I'm not gonna set myself a goal for any sort of usage or any sort of progress. I just wanna get a head start and get a chance to use this, maybe even use it up, who knows, because I can wear this as a lip gloss. I can wear this as like more of like a lip balm when I'm not wearing any other makeup or I'm just you know, in the house. It's very, very sheer in its color and I just think it can work with many things, including even the lipstick in She Bad. This might look really nice on top of it and just give it a little more of a hint of color instead of being quite neutral. But yeah, I'm really excited to get some use out of this. I have been considering that it is something I want to pan in due time, so this is the perfect time. But that is gonna be everything for today's update. I'm really happy to have rolled one new thing into this project. Based on how all of these products are looking right now, I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to roll anything else into my next update, but I really do want to just set myself a goal of making sure I reach for this a minimum of six times. And I think I should be able to get very close on this if I'm you know, diligent with this product here, the e.l.f. one. But otherwise, I really don't know where I'm gonna stand for my next update. Hopefully I have some interesting insights and some decent progress to share with you in the next update. 
I think the rest of these products are going to be living in this project until the finale and I'm okay with that. I really am happy with all the products that I've chosen for this round. But that's absolutely everything for today's video. Thank you so so much for watching and for hanging out with me. Definitely go check everyone else out and all of the information that is linked down in the description box. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!